Hey guys, this is a short tutorial on how to do um, modded uh, Seven Days to Die, uh, in particular the Warzuck AIO mod. Uh, let me get the website up over here. War, Wars, Warzuck AIO? I don't know. Um, Anyways, this is uh, basically for my friends, a quick little um, tutorial, but uh, if uh, if you're not my friend, uh, maybe you can be my friend. Give me a like and subscribe. Um, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your Steam library. You're going to find Seven Days to Die. You're going to go to uh, Manage, Browse Local Files. It's going to bring you right to your file location for seven days to die. Um, you're going to back out one. Right click on the seven days to die game folder. So we're in common now. We went, we went up one to the common folder. Right click on seven days to die. Copy. Uh, you're going to paste the copy. It doesn't matter where um, you want to paste it to. Um... I made a folder on my games directory, but uh, you can just go to your desktop. It doesn't matter. When we make a new folder, I'm going to call it uh, Seven Days Modded. Open that up. I'm going to make a new folder. You don't have to do these steps, but I recommend it just for organization. Uh, and I'm going to call this one... Uh, a I O, I think that's what it was called. Yeah, A I O. Um, and then in here, I'm going to paste. Once this is done, Once this is done, uh, test it out. You want to use the seven days to die launcher within here. Make sure it's working. Uh, uncheck use uh, easy anti cheat um, because it's going to be a modded server. Um, and then run and save as default. Make sure that it works. It should work just fine. This is just the copy of the game. Yep, it's working. Um, quit. All right, now I'm going to go to the... Find the window I had that. I'm going to go to the... The Azure uh, repository. Um, I'll put the link in the description, um, or you can find the link on that mods page. Um, you're going to come here and you're going to go to, I think it's going to look like this when you first, the link in the uh, mod description. Um, you can highlight the mods here and over on the right hand corner, there's a little more options. Click on that and download as zip. And that is going to download the mods folder, which will take quite a while because it's quite big. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I already did this part. And all you have to do next, once you have that, is within your seven days to die, you go to the mods folder here. It should just have this TFP harmony. Um, and then what you're going to do is go to your downloads. Uh, you're going to open up that um, compressed zip file that you downloaded, which is just going to be called mods. I downloaded the whole thing the first time, but it's not needed. Um, but 
you just go into the mods folder and you don't have to I don't think you have to grab these RAR files at the bottom. I don't know what these are. Um, I don't have WinRAR, so I don't know why people still use WinRAR. It's not necessary, but um, just highlight all of these files, or you shift, click, shift, click the second one and highlight them all. Drag and drop over here into your seven days to die mods folder. Um, this will take a while and it will prompt you to, uh, it'll say that there's harmony files that already exist. Just hit replace. Uh, they're probably the same files, but one's newer. So I don't know if there's any changes made in it. So I'll just replace it to be safe. This will take um, longer depending on how fast your uh, your drives are. So again, I just opened up the zip file that I downloaded. If you just download the mods, it'll probably just say mods.zip. And it'll probably open up to here. If you if you download the whole repository, then it'll look like mine. And you just go in the mods. And you want to click at the top folder, shift click, bottom one, drag and drop all of them over. All right, here's the prompt. Replace the files in the destination. That's the selection you want to do. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to go back to the seven days to die folder. And I'm going to do the seven days launcher again. Make sure that easy anti-cheat is unchecked. Run and save as default. Uh, here we are. Now we have the, the menu that's modded. Um, I'm going to attempt to join my server here. I think it's already still saved. Let me double check to make sure that that's my server. Uno momento. I have way too many windows open. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, you'll probably get this little prompt. Just check in the boxes, allow access. Now, if this is your first time um, joining a server, uh, it's going to take a very long time. Because it's going to want to download the map. It might not for mine because I already have joined the server, but I joined it in a separate copy of 7 Days. I just made a fresh copy for this video. So I'm curious if it's going to download the map again. This happened for me the first time or the other time I was testing it just before this, it gets stuck on this loading blocks for a while. Don't hit any buttons or keys or it might crash.
Like my fancy vape I got. It's got like a constellation that lights up on it. I know vaping's bad. Don't do it. I wish I didn't do it. It is pretty though. Purdy. It's purdy. And it's pineapple strawberry. Or I'm sorry, strawberry colada. Oh, there it's done. Fun. Hey, it's working. As far as how to play the mod, I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I'm about to. But that's how to get it working. That's, that's about all I got. Bye.